I feel like Aaron Yeager would be very happy with the wasteland. Just total freedom, do whatever you want, lawlessness, and he could come in here and just be completely free. So maybe Aaron should have played a little bit more Fallout because this would have been the perfect game for him. It's also very patriotic, so he could have that Shinzo Sasaigyo going on. And Erwin and Aaron, man, they would have loved Fallout 100%. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan, you definitely need to watch it. Like now. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to my latest Fallout reaction. Really enjoying the show so far. Not going to waste your time on this introduction. Super excited to jump into the ghouls. And with all that being said, please stand by. I really hope we see some feral ghouls. Okay. But the walk of... Oh, the walk of stars. Yo. Wow. The Hollywood... There's Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard, hmm, far better days. He's about to get that cannabis. <laughs> Damn, dude, you are a dick. There's probably clickers in here, dude. Oh, he's turning into a feral ghoul, dude. Getting infected by the flood. You turn it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> There ain't no maybe, dude. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> this is so cool, but so sad. We've never seen a ghoul turn into a feral ghoul before. Blam co mac and cheese. Ice cream and apple pie. Hey, mom, you stay. Well, at least he gave him a happy thought in his last moment. That was a humane, humane kill, though. Plane. Uh oh. Huh. Sometimes. Is he gonna like? Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. God. Mm. People starved. My mother included. Oh. My dad dropped to 120. Ass jerky don't make itself. Oh my God, bro! He's eating his. Oh. <laughs> Bro, just his asshole just exploded. You sure did like pie that day. <laughs> Funny, they were just talking about that. And with your sister gone, you're the last standing McLean. So what made your the McLean so so important? I don't remember the name McLean in the lore. Oh my god, he got that <laughs> ass jerky. Don't do it, Lucy. Not without a Rataway. Oh no, dude. I think it's really, really cool that they're making this parallel between he trying to make her a Wastelander and everyone in the vault trying to make the Wastelanders into Vault Dwellers. Oh, I'm you, sweetie. See? You just give it a little time. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh. Oh. That's crazy, because the old lady was like, you still have all ten of your fingers. Get him talking about shoe maintenance, and he, he'd just carry on until everyone left the room. <laughs> Awful. I hate those guys. It would mean a lot mean, to me. Mean the bros, we hate him. <laughs> I'll... I'll try to wear them. Oh, God. <laughs> and this. Oh, bird. This is getting weird. Oh, bird. Oh. Bird. Whoa. I am bird. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> bros watching... <laughs> From the grave, like. Now that is one wet lady. Oh, uh, her water broke. <laughs> Super duper mart, yo. Oh, there's definitely some ghouls in there. Near mint condition. <laughs> Grading requires physical evaluation. 
Oh, it's the Mr. Handy. Especially since my temporal sensors went out in the Great War. That must have been a week ago at least. Huh. Would you yeah. mind taking a seat? What have we here? Oh. Too fat, too... Uh, that's gross, dude. Not a problem. Well, that is interesting. I, I thought I was here to be a sex slave. What? No! What a <laughs> disgusting idea! But it was anything but innocent. Experiment time! Special! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, dude. Perfect. Feel like getting out of the house? Yes! <laughs> so, what was Vault 32's experiment? But one of the raiders told me it was. Maybe the blight actually happened and they started eating each other. Oh, yeah, the Pip Boy flashlights. Oh. The last biosignal detected was two years ago. They've been dead for two years? Oh, he, oh. They ate each other in their desperation to survive. Mm, yeah, they ate each other. Are they the truth? So if they were already dead. We know the truth. They were an experiment. Oh, no. Where are you from again? Oh, hell, dude. Never been there myself? There's no fudge here. Has no one tried doing that before? Abraxo. Hey, how many of them are feral though? You didn't think that through, did you? Aw. Organs. Aw, oh, dude, that is 100% a feral ghoul. Oh. Hello there. General Kenobi. My name is Martha. That's right. Why did you say that name? Where's Martha? No. That's what's going on in her head right now. Who's Martha? Damn, she jumped high. Oh. Okay, what? Death to... Oh, management. It says it was open from the outside. The outside? No. Oh. Oh. Because you got that upgraded vault armor now. <laughs> I may end up looking like you, but I'll never be like you. That's a good line. Golden rule, motherfucker. <laughs> He's learning. Okay, and this is where the Brotherhood shows up. It's been a minute since we've seen him. Rose Fiendin. The alcohol. That's the greatest day of my life. The cocaine? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, you just like probably ruined a whole bunch. TV too. Oh, is that him? Oh, is that the episode he was filming earlier? I hope you like the taste of lead, you common son of a bitch. Mmm. Damn. That was Fallout. <laughs> you call me, you son of a bitch! Protectron! There you all go. There is my episode four reaction to Fallout. Just again, another banger, like bangers back to back. This was one of the more Fallout E episodes. It just felt like you were exploring the wasteland. It really felt like, especially with that line of about the golden rule. I don't remember if that was last episode or this episode. And he's like, you're always going off on side quests and doing random bullshit, which is exactly what Fallout is. You have the main story, but you just, you're always going to end up doing just some random thing along the way because the world makes you do it. And it makes it so organic and just full of life in a world that's lifeless. I really love that about this show. It just captures the essence of Fallout so well. Like, how do you capture life 
when there's none. And this show's doing it so well. There's like this whole idea of the wasteland are the wastelanders versus the vault dwellers and you have that parallel where the vault dwellers are trying to rehabilitate the wastelanders and the ghouls trying to teach lucy how to be a wastelander although i wouldn't really say teach more so forcibly evolve her which is kind of funny considering the fev even though it's something separate but that whole stuff with vault 32 is very intriguing i want to know what's going on with vault 31 and lucy's mom they are really leaning into the whole thing where vaults were like experiments and stuff. And I think that's what happened in Vault 32. And I'm excited to see that expanded on because it makes it a lot more interesting rather than everything's happy dappy. There's a little bit more depth here, no pun intended, because these things are underground. But I'm, I'm really hoping that the show nails the whole idea of Vault Tech, where there were vaults like 101 and 76 that really did, you know, I guess would be considered successful but most other ones weren't well they were successful just not the way the vault dwellers wanted them to be and i will just leave it there because i don't want to get worked up and uh when i don't have to because i can just binge it all thank you all so much for watching i won't keep this review too long for same reasons i presented earlier uh, again i i'm really enjoying the show watching it with you all and i hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i am and I will see you all in my Fallout Episode 5 reaction. Subscribe to Zankios for some more unfreaking believable content.